right, folks, here we go, and what a miraculous run it has been for this 135-pound woman. She fought for the belt back in the day, didn't get the title, everybody left her for dead. Look at her now. She never believed that she was done. She knew that she would get back, even if everyone around her told her it would be very difficult. She put her head down, she went to work, and she's back now. And she feels like because of that journey, the ups and the downs, the, the, the torment that she had to go through, being d depressed, not being the champion, all that has built her to be the person that can take the belt tonight. A lot of valuable lessons learned. She's never looked better on the scale. Perhaps that will be an indicator of things to come tonight. All right, so here she is, one of the meanest women in all the mixed martial arts, the former UFC women's bantamweight champion, Juliana Pena, and really dating to her time on The Ultimate Fighter back in 2013. A lot of fight fans and pundits believe that Pena was destined for greatness. I remember her coach, Rick Little, talking about her in the gym back in the day. She just brought a ferocity to the training room that few women were able to bring, and she has brought that to the octagon, realized a world title, in dramatic fashion by submitting Amanda Nunes in 2021. But she's sick of hearing about that. She believes a win tonight is going to get her back on the cusp of a world title shot here at 135 pounds. Juliana Penny ready to make a statement in front of this capacity crowd here tonight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Kathleen Benamino Vieira. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world, Juliana, the Venezuelan, Vixen Pena! Herb Dean, third Wait, party in the octagon Wait. tonight. Wait. All right, so here's the UFC bantamweight champion, Juliana Pena, as we get ready for round one. Now she's got the target on her back. Certainly as the underdog, she emerged, she vanquished the lioness Amanda Nunes, and now, with a total new lease on life, personally and professionally, she's gonna try to prove that she is still the best in the world. Certainly she was able to submit Amanda Nunes. She believes she will be able to have a grappling advantage tonight. And her prediction midweek, as humbly as she could put it, submission in round two. Oh, effective strike from the clinch there by Pena. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And he gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. And so Juliana Pena fighting mean as usual, kind of bullies her way inside and is able to get the fight to the floor. It may not look pretty always with Juliana Pena, but the pressure in her willingness to just engage is like not much we have seen inside the octagon. She will overwhelm you, but it's her toughness and her durability that allows for her to fight in this fashion. Oh, this is some high-level, efficient, effective ground and pound by Pena. Side control. Nice shot there by the champ. 
Vieta getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Man, these women are putting on a show tonight. The crowd absolutely loving it as they make their way back to the field. The crowd's going crazy because they just saw two high-level grapplers mix it up on the ground. It was phenomenal to watch. Vieta gets tagged by that stiff jab. Nice punch, man. Nicely done as she closes the her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh. Well, her striking has been great tonight. Rocked her opponent pretty significantly, but I think there's a little bit of disappointment that she wasn't able to get the fight. She should be disappointed that she didn't finish the fight. This would look like it was over. If she gets this opportunity again, she's going to fall out. To finish the fight. Nice. Nicely done. Now we get some space as she separates from her opponent. Nice job by her there to block those shots. When you first go to a boxing class, the first thing they say is glue your guard to your face. Her guard's high tonight. Her guard's high and she keeps the elbow down. She does a great job of blocking the top and down low. Just over two minutes to go. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. The opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing. Oh, great submission defense as she gets out. Guard here, DC. Where does she go from here? She needs to be passing right away. Passing, trying to pass to get good ground and pound off. Oh, right into mouth. All right, so some adversity for her here. Looks like she has been opened up around that eye. Anything worth having would not be easy, but she's got to protect that cut because it will get worse if she continues to get hit on. It. Ooh, look how tight that arm triangle is. Oh yeah, she's got it deep. That is she works out. She is so aware on the ground and she escaped a deep submission attempt. Oh, good ground and pound here. Man, she has done her homework. Another ground strike gets through. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, she might have that locked in. Oh, she bails on the sub. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Pena's in half guard now. And there it is again, her opponent has not had anything resembling an answer for these ground strikes. Oh, Pena's got the full mount. Final seconds of the round. A series of punches from the top here by Pena. Five minutes in the books. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, here we go. This should be good, man, for as long as it lasts as our next round gets underway. I think she's still hurt from what happened in the previous round. She's still hurt. She's tired. She's been battered and smooth over the course of this fight. How does she keep herself in the fight without getting finished? I can't believe y'all choose to do this for a living. Oh, it's insane. <laughs> it's so insane. I like this much better. <laughs> Pena gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Just that. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now 
Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. All right, she's got her in a crucifix now. I would think a lot of options at her disposal offensively. Yeah, she's got all the options. All she needs to do is be patient. Drop elbows, drop big punches. Just really start to lay into your opponent, but do it in a way that you don't lose all the work that you put in to gaining such a dominant position. Oh, she lands again. She has really targeted that cut effectively here in this round. Making all these shots count. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Vieta. She has no answer, so continue to feed her the question, right hand after right hand from the top position. Well, she's not slowing down. She has already landed a ton of significant strikes, and you got to think her coaches are going to be absolutely thrilled with this effort tonight. They're going to be fired up. They have to be so excited to watch everything that they saw at the gym during the training camp come together and be put on display inside the office. Well, you know she can do it all in the octagon tonight. She is largely a striker, and man, has she had it going really from the opening bell. From the start of the fight, you could see that she was different tonight. You could see that she was going to lean on the cardio, set a high pace, and hope that her opponent could not keep up. But not only is she fighting hard, she is landing just about everything that she throws. Nicely done. And there you go, again, half guard. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Oh, looked like she got that one home. Another nice strike with the ground and pound. A lot of consistency strike in her ground and pound striking. Now. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Well, hard to see exactly. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attempt. Oh, she's got an arm triangle here, and it looks tight. Oh, that's got to be it. Oh, somehow she gets out. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. Oh, she's got her back. Oh, how good is her submission defense there? She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, gets denied by the she bottom She got fighter. stopped. She got stopped right in her tracks. Great job by the bottom fighter. All right, full guard now, DC. She's on the bottom. What is she trying to do? Well, she's got to throw up submissions to try to put her opponent on awareness. And these submissions will be used to reverse the position. Even if it gets defended, it will create space for her to try to get back to her feet or maybe to steal a sweep and trick her opponent. Kenya's in half guard. She postures up here. Oh, delivers a big ground and pound shot to the head. Ground strikes really adding up for her now. She's stepping over the mount here. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Pena. Oh, hard ground strike there, and that one opened up a cut. She continues to go here because it's working. Do not change anything. All right, so the ladies make their way back to the feet. Nice job by her there, and the crowd is just lapping it up. Yeah, they're loving her willingness to fight to get back to her feet. She never accepted being on the bottom, so even though it was difficult, she got it done, and now she looks to impose herself on her opponent. She gets to the single oh. collar tie. Look for her now to drive uppercuts up the middle to do damage on our opponent. All right, so that horn signifies the end of the round. Oh, Pena's eye is in real trouble, folks. That does not look good. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the ringside physician be called on here. He might even stop the fight. We'll see. Well, her eye is really in trouble now, and you know the opposition's going to continue to target it. We'll see what they can do with these 60 seconds. There's nothing better than seeing the damage on your opponent's face. And if she couldn't defend before, 
she's going to have to be real good on the defensive side this time because now her opponent would be even Ready. more aggressive yeah. seeing the damage on her face. Round three of a possible five. Nice punch lands over the top. Beautiful leg kick. She's got the single collar tie. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Oh, how about the judo toss there? Judo 101. Nice leg kick there by Pena. Takedown defense is there. Oh, she landed another strike to the body there. Very smart to work that body late in the fight when her opponent is with her. Probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands. So what's the saying? Live to fight another day? Because she could certainly subscribe to that theory right now. She's a bloody mess. Yeah, she's a bloody mess. That cut has gotten to a point now where we could call it critical. Somebody needs to save her from herself in this position. Leg kick lands. Oh! Oh, nice. And now some separation between the two athletes. Nice short uppercut in the clinch. And she's got the double leg takedown. All right, half guard position for her here. And this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success from this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved. Okay? Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this. And as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that. Yeah. I don't want to see any more. DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back, and she could do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back, and I'm your boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. And now she's in mode. Fiat is in half court. Lands with the ground and pound here. Fiat is now dealing with a cheat cut. And there she goes again, landed another strike on the ground. Oh, nice. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Vieta. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Under two minutes to go. And now she has her back. Well, she just ate another strike right on that eye. You don't want to take too many more of those. No, she's got to be more active with her head movement. Or this cut is going to keep being the target and is going to keep advancing. Pena's right back to the full mount. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Well, she's staying busy, continuing to land ground strikes. There's another one. Nice positional control here. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. A series of punches from the top here by Payne. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking, and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides where you see the concern from both fighters recognizing, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Great job landing from the top position. Another strike gets through from the top position. Oh, Pena's in half court. Seconds left. Pena's right back to the full mount here. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. 
She's got her back now, DC, and I don't mean she's like there to support her, right? She is literally on her back and in control of this fight. She's in oh. control of this fight. Look for her to start trying to slide that arm under the neck to finish the fight with a chill. All right, so there's the horn right. signifying the end of the yeah. round, and they better Speed get going combo. on that cut. I would not say it's critical per se, but getting more severe by the moment. Well, she absorbed way too many damaging strikes in that previous round. We'll see if we can isolate the replay that caused the cut. Yeah, she was on the receiving end of a beating, man. It did not look competitive, and when you get hit with shots like this, big shots, shots that matter, you start to show damage. That cut opened up, and she is really struggling with it now. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's out for the energy. Someone's gonna get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Good entry by Juliana Pena. She's able to get another takedown here, champ. Juliana Pena is like a bull in the China shop. She wants to create chaos, and that chaos is leading to her having tons of success tonight inside the octagon. Oh, Pena's back in half court. And fourth we go, one of the better fights of the year, unless, of course, you like defense. A lot of damage being doled out on both sides. A lot of damage being doled out. Both of these women are doing a great job of standing on a corner, standing in a phone booth, and just beating each other up. It's going to come down to the heart, though, to determine who wins this fight. She's got her back now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got a couple leaks on aisle five. These <laughs> women are donating blood tonight, and the fans are the beneficiaries. What a fight. Yeah, what a fight between these two. They spoke since the fight was announced about how good it was going to be. I never could have imagined that I would have this visual, both exhibiting cuts, both bleeding, both still not willing to take a step back. Man, she's got some good ground and pound, and putting that part of her game to good use tonight. She's putting it to great use, just really damaging from the top position. Pena's definitely targeting that same eye over and over again, and if it's not broken, why fix it? Nice job by the athlete there. Oh, swing and a miss. How about the slip by her there? What a great job of moving her head right at the right time. She gets in very close and gets to the single call tie. Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the U.S. Now this could be the beginning of the end for her opponent. It seems like we are in the final act of a four-part play because this fight is about done. Jacked down by Pena. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has the half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions, or they're gonna lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. Vieta getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Man, she's making these ground strikes count. She is so dominant from the top position. Gotta be careful here. Man, she is really going at that cut with her ground strikes. That's getting worse by the minute. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Johnny, then he just gets up. She's got her back. Oh, Pena's in half guard now. 
Vieta's cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. They'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. She's got that left hand going. Nice strike there. That was not good. Nice strike. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here? I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. 20 seconds to go. Oh, man, that kick looked like it hurt. Lands a big elbow there. Huh. 20 down, five huh. to go. All right, so that round is in the books. Pena's eye is in real trouble, folks. That does not look good. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the ringside position be called on here. He might even stop the fight. We'll see. Well, she did a nice job just hammering the cut on that eye. I'm not sure how much more fight time we're going to have tonight. Yeah, she will not be able to go through this much longer. She took way too many shots to the eye, and now she's dealing with a nasty cut. She's got to be more focused on the defensive side if she wants an opportunity to win this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Fifth and final round, fourth coming. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Pena. Vieta's cut is just nasty, right? Right on the cheek. Location obviously could be worse. No blood trickling down into her eye, but gotta think she's gonna need some stitch work after this one, win or lose. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. I mean, she's fighting a fantastic fight. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Vieta. Pena's cut has really opened up now, folks. I don't necessarily have to tell you that watching at home. Looks like you could stick a quarter in there, and I'm not sure how much longer this fight is going to continue. Nice uppercut. Oh, nice double leg, yes. All right, full guard here if you're the bottom fighter. Trying to prevent the half guard episode. Yes, absolutely. Trying to keep her in full guard, throw up some submission to get back to your feet. Vieta's back in full guard now. And there you go, again, half guard. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Oh, wow, she's got the arm triangle tight. She's got it in tight. She's so smart, John. She maintained position over submission. That's rule number one. Well, we've had a lot of bloody encounters in the octagon, and this one is right up there. She is really leaking out of that eye area. Yeah, she's leaking out of the eye area. She needed to do something different defensively. She didn't, and now she finds herself very beat up. Pena is able to make a nice transition there back into side control. All right, she's in the full guard here, DC. She's going to be looking to pass, try to get to the next position. Three minutes now to go in this one. Nice ground strikes landed by her from top position now. That guillotine is tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Oh, right into mount. has been beaten and battered, and now she is wearing it. Oh, she's going for another submission now. Oh, look out, that thing is tight. It's advancing, she's going to finish. Oh, great submission defense. Oh, and there it is. So after an extended battle on the ground, she gets back to her feet, and the crowd is absolutely eating it up. She was not going to settle on her back. Even though it was very difficult, she finally works her way back up, and now she's got to let the hands go. All right, late in the fight now, DC. The submission specialist clearly is going to be on the wrong end of the scorecards if we get there. you got to get going. It does not matter if you get reversed top. It does not matter if you get the guard pass. you got to just start throwing up submissions and hope by causing action you can last on something to end the fight. Well, I think if I was a fighter, I'd probably be a headhunter, but she is... <laughs> Shot. 
All right, so here we go down the stretch. Final minute, one of the best fights of the year. Unless, of course, like Donald Cruz, maybe you like defense. These women have gone at it from moment one, and these fans are richer for it. I mean, they told us that this would be one of the best fights we've ever seen. We looked at the matchup and thought, wow, this could be good. Very rarely does it exceed our expectation. This fight has exceeded the under one minute to go, fifth and final round. Oh, she got inside and right to the single collar top. The eight, oh, oh, huge shots landed on both sides. How are they still standing? Strong outside leg kick. John, she's hurt. She's done. It, it looks like it's over. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. She got that single collar tie. Vieta's cheek is just pouring blood. I can't see her jawbone yet, but that gash is absolutely disgusting. She she's got head back there. This could be the end. She landed a massive uppercut that hurt her opponent very, very badly. the full 25 minutes stand and cheer ladies and gentlemen well what a performance by her tonight on the biggest stage of her career by far she's going home with a new piece of gold people wondered if she was ready for this they wondered if she had the ability to shine when the lights were brightest she did exactly that she topped any performance she has ever had in the ufc and she is now the new ufc champion The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. Declared the winner by unanimous decision. And new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Catherine. So the winning ways continue for one of Brazil's best, Ketlin Vieira, getting it done here at the UFC Women's Bantamweight Division.